Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, on the River Wye. Beautiful scene. Now uh, we continue our look at the housing situation in the West. As more and more people find they can't afford to buy their own home, some are looking to build it themselves instead. We've been to meet a couple in Somerset who decided to get their hands dirty and do just that. Hi, my name's Ken Opton and this is our house which has been five years in the planning and execution and we built it last year. And I'm Carol and we designed this house so that we would uh, be able to live in it for the rest of our days and it would take us right through into our future. So this is the hall um, and it comes through um, from the hall into uh, the room that we really really love which is our open plan living kitchen dining space. We know how we want to live so we decided that if we wanted that then we should start from scratch. I designed this model because the plans, which are two-dimensional normal plans, Carol found difficult to translate. Because it's quite difficult to put together on paper exactly where you want your rooms to go. There's always one room that doesn't have a door. It took us over, well over a year to find the plot. I was the project manager. There were one or two mistakes on my behalf. I think it had teething problems, didn't it? It was things that we just didn't know about, didn't anticipate. Budget is a variable thing <laughs> and does tend to stretch. We ended up with a, uh, an actual spend of 246,000. Well, we probably saved ourselves between only 20 or 30,000 pounds by doing it ourselves. I love everything about it. It's just absolutely delightful to be here. I love the view, the space in here. Uh, almost perfect. There's one or two light switches in the wrong place, you know, but <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. It, it, it suits our lifestyle down to the ground. There's always a light switch in the wrong place. Our uh, business editor, Dave Harvey, will have more on alternative ways to get on the housing ladder tonight at half past six on Points West. So on to rugby, and there'll be a sellout crowd at Ashton Gate next Wednesday when Bristol play the second leg of the